What's up guys? Uh, no DSLR today, just me on the webcam doing my thing. <laughs> I just wanted to you know, show some photos I've been taking, give you guys some idea of what I've been uh, working on. I've, I've been working a lot, like uh, not photography, but like work working a lot. So I've had some limited time, but last week, or I guess at this point about two weeks ago, I drove down to Buffalo and uh, saw my family, saw some of my friends and got a chance to go to the fair, the Erie County Fair, which is I know it's lame, but it's something I really like, so <laughs> we went to the fair, uh, walked around a little John, who's been in a bunch of my previous videos, or at least two of them, three of them, three of them. Uh, he uh, did the camera work for me because he's a chum, he's a good friend, <laughs> and uh, and I'll go through some of the photos that I took there. I've, I've gotten a lot more experience with that Yashica, so I've got some insights that maybe I didn't have a couple of weeks ago, because I've, I've shot a bunch of film on it, and I've also shot a bunch of Provia. And uh, having done that and now, you know, uh, having shot Velvia in the past, I think I've got some insights into slide film that I'd like to, to get into, you know, obviously. I don't know as much as some people, but uh, I've shot a good amount of it now, so I've got some ideas. Uh, in the meantime, just a little bit of housekeeping. I bought this guy. This is a Fujinon uh, 210 5.6 large format lens for my 4x5. Really excited to take this out and shoot. I was actually going to do that today. I was planning to drive up to the Adirondacks. The weather didn't really cooperate. It's just dismal and, and uh, threatening to rain, so I ended up staying in. I didn't even set up the DSLR to do this video. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some of these photos. I'll, I'll walk through them and give you some idea uh, kind of, of, of what I was thinking, uh, if they succeeded in what I wanted to do or not. So the first one here is of a carnival worker uh, standing in front of the prizes you can win here. Uh, I asked everybody if I could take their picture. They were all pretty cool about it. Uh, this photo is, is something of a failure. Uh, it was underexposed when I got it. Um, I still think it looks okay, but one thing that's become apparent to me is when you shoot a slide film, if you underexpose it, those shadows get kind of like a muddy tone to them. They, they get kind of ugly and murky and and you get a little bit of like an orangish reddish brown in those shadows um, and you can see that here. Uh, so not a perfect photo but uh, still kind of cool, still kind of neat. You can still see those popping colors especially the blue shirt and uh, I loved, I, I wanted to do these photos primarily because I really liked the contrast between the carnival workers, you know, we all know the reasons people work at carnivals, you know, they don't do background checks, you know, the, you, you don't need a lot of experience doing other things <laughs> whatever whatever the reason might be um you got some people who've lived some lives so they're interesting looking folks and then they're standing in front of these crazy backdrops with prizes and and games and things and i just i just think it's kind of cool uh this one was a lot more successful here uh, this dude was just doing the cheating basketball <laughs> game or whatever uh i liked his glasses uh, just, and just in general, I thought it was kind of a neat photo, so uh, he was cool enough to, to pose for it. Um, yeah, and this one was, was exposed correctly. Uh, focus isn't dialed in perfectly, so he's not as sharp as I'd like, but I think it still looks pretty pretty good, pretty cool. Uh, now this guy, I love this photo. This is not of a person, of course, but uh, and again, it's not as sharp as it possibly could have been, uh, but it, I think it just looks... Really, really neat. I like the symmetry, especially with the square format. Um, I like the colors. I love the way the sky looks on Provia. That's that. I mean, that alone justifies shooting slide film. Is just the way the sky always looks. But uh, yeah, I really like this photo. I thought this was really cool. I threw this one up on Instagram. I actually threw a couple of these up. Uh, now this guy too. Uh, the colors. Look at the sky. Look at the ride. Um, they had been spinning, and by the time I metered them. They ended up uh, sitting down, so they were no longer spinning, which is too bad because the movement could have been cool. But that being said, like I like the crispness uh, in the art on the side of the ride. Um, it looks neat. It's cool. It reminds me of some kind of like obelisk or, or something. I, I really love the way this looks. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I like this one also. Now, this guy, um, a little underexposed again. Uh, it's tough because the sky is blown out and that's that narrow dynamic range that you're going to get out of slide film. But uh, he was cool. He didn't want me to take his picture at first. He's like, there's lots of people with blue shirts. And I was like, I'm taking lots of pictures. And he was like, eh, I guess it's fine. <laughs> so he, he posed for a picture. He was a nice enough dude. Um, I don't know. I kind of thought it was going to be cooler than it was when I took it. But uh, this is him chilling out, you know, manning the rides. I, the, I guess the biggest thing is that the colors look great. I, I think that slide film and black and white are perfect for an environment like this because you either get that kind of surreal 
uh, the surreal separation that black and white gives you, or you get the vivid colors, you know, that, that are, you know, kind of omnipresent at the fair. And then last, uh, this is not on Provia. This is on T-Max 400. This guy was weird. John, John commented afterwards that he was a little bit creeped out by this guy, and I, I, can, I can appreciate that. He was a little bit creepy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's cool. This one was underexposed also, but with T-Max, you know, like a lot of black and white films, you can really salvage them pretty easily. And it's got those incredibly contrasty, you know, black and white, uh, uh, that look that, that T-Max has, that really kind of vivid, uh, out there look. I, I, a big fan, I like T-Max quite a bit. I've, I've had some people tell me they don't like it. They don't like the way the grain looks, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I, I really like that contrasty kind of bold look that it has. I think it's really cool. Um, T-Max and Tri-X, I'm, I'm a fan of both of them. I think they both look look great. The the grain is a little bit less evident uh, in T-Max than it is on Tri-X. Uh, I see some dust that I didn't remove there. <laughs> Up in the upper left, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, that's unfortunate, but uh, you know what? It actually might not be dust. Very difficult to say. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. Again, I like the background. Uh, I like the backdrop with this weird dude. Not responsible for Dart. It says, <laughs> there's a balloon with a mustache, you know, you know how it goes, you're a, a stuffed thing, so, yeah, I mean, that's what I've been up to, uh, not, not super exciting, but, uh, just kind of an insight, uh, there'll be some large format content coming, uh, I would like to buy a new camera soon, but, I mean, real life is kind of a pain, it gets in the way of a lot of this stuff, you know, you're trying to do your YouTube videos, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to work a job and you have to go to dinner and you got to do all these things that get in the way. So uh, hopefully soon I'll be uh, get a chance to do it. My friend Elliot is coming up uh, a week from Monday. So uh, no, next week, next week, I, the first he's flying in. So a, a week from now. And we are going to uh, to take a trip up to the Adirondacks. Um, he requested the Oma Gang Brewery. That'll be three times for me in in a couple of months, and I'm okay with it, <laughs> frankly. But we're gonna go up to the Adirondacks and hopefully do some hiking. So that should be fun. Uh, I would love to do Gothics. Uh, and then Casey's parents are coming to visit. So hopefully we'll do some stuff then. You know, just just my itinerary. If you guys were you know here for a video on photography, instead you got like things Eric is gonna be doing soon. I guess my point is I'll try and integrate, you know, if I go anywhere cool or do anything cool, I'll try to integrate some photography, do some uh, do some video content in the future. Thank you guys for sticking with. As always, if you like this video for whatever reason, <laughs> if you thought the photos were pretty, uh, like, comment, subscribe. It does help like crazy. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Look at, look at the puppet theater, dude. Can I zoom in on it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>